British police are big fans of drones. A police force in the UK is set to launch the country's first 24-hour drone unit after completing successful trials of the technology. Devon and Cornwall police began testing DJI Inspire One drones in 2015. This model has a 360-degree rotating camera that takes HD photos and video. The pilot of the drone can watch live video on a screen on the drone's remote control. The DJI Inspire One can reach a maximum flight altitude of 4,500 meters and has a range of 5 kilometers from its pilot. On a full battery charge, the drone has a maximum flight time of 18 minutes. Among several uses for the drones, police believe they can help pursue suspects and record images at the scene of road traffic accidents. Devon and Cornwall police said drones can capture footage in hard-to-reach areas, such as woodland to find a missing person. According to London's Metropolitan Police Force, the cost of operating a police helicopter is 850 pounds per flying hour. Drones could help the police cut costs because the devices cost as little as a thousand pounds each. The only operating cost is recharging the battery. As many as 21 British police forces are reportedly experimenting with drones. The devices have been used by police to watch over the Duchess of Cambridge on a royal visit and even to chase a lynx that escaped from a zoo. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Drones pose several challenges for law enforcement, but the devices are also being used by cops as an eye in the sky. It is now legal for North Dakota police to use drones to fire tasers and tear gas at people. Thanks to the work of a lobbyist who represents law enforcement and has ties with the drone industry, a bill was passed by the North Dakota State House that allows police to use armed drones. After obtaining a search warrant from a judge, North Dakota police can deploy drones to collect real-time intelligence video for criminal evidence. These police drones, however, are now also allowed to carry less than lethal weapons, like rubber bullets, pepper spray, tear gas, sound cannons, and tasers. But even less than lethal weapons can kill. According to The Guardian, at least 39 people have been killed by police tasers in 2015. With these weapons, police could potentially fire on criminal suspects from far away, much like how U.S. Air Force drone pilots bomb ISIS militants from 10,000 miles away. According to the FAA, 401 drone operations were undertaken by the Grand Forks County, North Dakota Sheriff's Department in the past three years. The department insists there were only 21 flights. Drones are seen as a positive thing in North Dakota, which, according to the Daily Beast, may be the reason why few people noticed when the House bill passed with a clause allowing them to be armed with less than lethal weapons. Dutch police train eagles to take down drones. Dutch police are tackling a high-tech problem with a low-tech solution, training eagles to take down drones. This video released by the force shows the majestic birds of prey learning to combat potential scourges of the sky. Although still in the testing phase, police said this new flying squad could be used to neutralize drones flown by criminals or terrorists. Earlier this month, a British think tank warned terrorists could use drones as airborne explosive devices or to attack world leaders. A Dutch police spokesman explained that the eagles see the drones as prey. Once it has plucked the device from the sky, an eagle will take it to a place where there are no other birds or people. The police will make a decision on whether to set up a dedicated anti-drone eagle unit within the next few months. The force said it was also examining several other ways to combat drones, including equipment to remotely take control of the devices. Night vision drones to patrol the streets of New Delhi. Small drones fitted with night vision cameras will soon be flying above the streets of New Delhi as part of a measure to enhance security. Indian police have said following a spate of high-profile violent crimes. Indian police will be running a pilot scheme using night vision drones to patrol the streets in the north district of the Indian capital starting next month. The small UAVs will fly as high as 200 meters and cover a hexagonal grid area measuring 3 to 4 kilometers. Footage filmed by the surveillance drones will be sent to the vehicle of the police's quick response teams, enabling them to react promptly should any incident occur. Coupled with surveillance cameras already installed, the entire North District will now be under surveillance, except for the LG House, Delhi Assembly and Metcalf House. The drones will help alleviate a shortage of police manpower in North Delhi. 
If the test goes well, the drone program may be launched in other areas. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Amazon Mini Drone could be the personal assistant of the future. Amazon is working on a pocket-sized drone that could revolutionize police work, help firefighters tackle blazes, and even find your lost car. Amazon was granted a U.S. patent on Tuesday for a miniature drone that would be fitted with microphones and a camera. The drone would respond to voice commands and has several potential functions. It could be used to find a missing child through face recognition, an RFID tag, or barcode on the child's clothing. Amazon also imagines the pocket-sized drones may help the police catch suspects. It could hover above traffic stops to record interactions between officers and citizens. Firefighters could also use the drones to identify people trapped in burning buildings or equip the devices with thermal imaging cameras to locate fire hotspots. The technology may also be used in search and rescue missions, for example, to find a downed airliner. Civilian uses include finding your car when you forgot where you parked or simply filming cool stuff like a GoPro. Men arrested for flying drone too close to NYPD helicopter. Two men were arrested and charged with reckless endangerment on Monday, after police say they flew a remote-controlled drone dangerously close to an NYPD helicopter. After midnight on Monday, an NYPD helicopter spotted a small drone near the George Washington Bridge at 2,000 feet. It came within 800 feet before the chopper changed direction to avoid a collision. The drone then flew to northern Manhattan, with the police helicopter following behind. The drone landed on a car near Audubon and Fort George Avenues. NYPD officers arrived to arrest Remy Castro and Wilkins Mendoza, who had been controlling the drone. NYPD says the men endangered the helicopter by flying at 2,000 feet, but their lawyer argues that they were only flying the drone at 300 feet. Castro and Mendoza were charged with felony reckless endangerment and released without bail.